report. So everybody's waiting for that. All right. We'll see you here tomorrow, Nicole. Thank Absolutely. you. A stunning new report from the Census Bureau shows that the Hispanic population in the U.S. is growing much faster than anticipated. More than 50 million Latinos in the U.S. now, 16% of the population. That's up 43% over the past decade. And Hispanic voting is on the rise. In 2008, 2.2 million more Latinos went to the polls than in 2004. Joining me now from Washington, Democratic Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez and Telemundo anchor Jose diaz Velarte. Good morning to both of you. Congresswoman, let me start with you. It's clear that this report represents an enormous opportunity for your party, potentially for the other uh, party. What's the strategy by Democrats to lock in these voters? Well, it depends what you're looking at. We see at the local level already that many Latinos are being elected. But the place where we haven't been elected, for example, is into the Congress. In the Congress, let's take a look at California. California sends 53 people to the House of Representatives. California is almost 50% Hispanic, yet we have only six congressional seats. So this year is incredibly important. It's incredibly important because this is where we redo the districts, where we do the redistricting. And we are hoping, for example, in California, that we should reflect more of the population, the voting age population of California, and therefore get many more Latinos elected to the Congress. Um, and it, across in Arizona, in, in uh, Texas, in places like that, we're seeing more of this, and we're hoping that the de redistricting work in that manner. It well, should. I want to bring up a map, if I can, and some statistics, because one of the striking mm -hmm. things about this report is that uh, growth is hardly limited to the border region. What does the Hispanic sort of trends of settlement look like? I mean, look at that, Jose. I don't know if you can see this, but in the south, up 57 percent, Midwest, 49, uh, West and Northeast, both up more than 30 percent. Yeah, it's fascinating. And good morning to you, Chris, and to uh, Congresswoman Sanchez. Morning, Always a Jose. privilege to be with you. Uh, what's interesting, and the Congresswoman was talking about the growth of the Hispanic community, and yet the pretty feeble growth as far as elected officials are concerned. It's interesting that in this last congressional election, uh, the majority of Hispanics elected to the House were Republicans. And some of those, if not most of them, aren't very clear on how they stand on immigration reform. So what the Congresswoman is talking about, I think it's fundamental that both political parties have to be very keen on understanding the growth of the Hispanic community is mostly in people born in the United States. Every month, 50,000 Latino kids turn 18 years of age in the United States. And how are you going to reach out to them when many in the Hispanic community see both political parties is not really in tune with what their real issues are? Well, you know, one of the things, Congresswoman, is that we talk about Hispanics or Latinos, but you can't really look at them in a, in a block. So they're Mexican, they're Cuban, they're they're Colombian. Uh, I think contrary to perceptions, and you and you just you know heard this um, from from Jose. Uh, they're not all Democrats, right? So we're not we're not all a block, and in fact, uh, we have different aspirations. Uh, clearly, the majority of Hispanics in the United States, over 65 percent, are of Mexican descent. But uh, you have Cubans, you have Puerto Ricans, you have uh, uh, Americans, you have all types. And you have them not just in California and New York City where we typically would think they would be, but you have them where the jobs have been, whether it's in Nebraska or Arkansas. I remember maybe about 10 years ago I went to Rogers, Arkansas, where the increase in just one year had been by 18 percent. That was because of the poultry uh, uh, industry there. So they go where the jobs are. And the fact of the matter is both parties need to really listen up and hear what Latinos are saying. I think because they're a younger group of people that the education issue is incredibly important. And on that, I would have to say Democrats continue and have been and continue to be much better than Republicans. So I think there's a natural sway for them to come Democratic, but we have to work at it. Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez, Jose diaz Belart, always great to see you as well. Good to Thanks see you. to both of Thank you. you. Thank as you. As always, you can watch Jose each weeknight on Noticiero, that is the signature newscast of our sister network, Telemundo. Out with the old and in with the new? What do these skimpy costumes have to do with a lawsuit against a major Atlantic City casino hotel? And we want to know what you think about the stories we're covering. Just head to Jansen Co. on Facebook. Oh, no.